If you want to see me take a baby black jaguar and a baby white lion swimming, well guys, you are in the right place. We're going to take this sweet little guy right now, and we're going to take him in the pool for the first time. Now we have our adorable little black jaguar girl right here. Guys, this is exactly what we wanted. She is absolutely loving the water. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know that we went swimming with a little baby black jaguar and a little baby white lion. That is all I'm going to reveal, but that is what we did for today's video. I just got back from swimming with them and it was just so much fun. Guys, you don't want to miss out on this. So if you want to see me take a baby black jaguar and a baby white lion swimming, well guys, you are in the right place and I'm going to hop right into that now. One hour later. Well guys, I just got over here to Mario's house from Zoological Wildlife and we are getting ready to take the six week old black jaguar and white lion in the pool for the very first time. This is the gorgeous lagoon that we're gonna be swimming them in and this is the perfect pool for swimming young felines. The reason being is this pool was specially designed to have this level right here so you can actually work with the younger cats on a nice shallow area so it doesn't immediately drop off and you have this really nice beautiful platform. And the water right now is 85 degrees and it just feels absolutely amazing considering it is over 100 degrees in Miami. This feels like one of the hottest days that we've had in this August. So it's the hottest month in Miami. So these cats, again, they have never been in the water so it's gonna be pretty cool to bring them in for the first time. So we're gonna be bringing them in at separate times. We're gonna bring in either the black jaguar or the white lion first, but I want all of you guys to choose. So comment down below, what should we take swimming first in the pool? Should we take the white lion or the jaguar in the pool? I'm gonna give you guys three seconds right now to go comment down below what you want. So we have black jaguar, white lion, comment down below in three, two, one. And I'm gonna pick eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think we are going to pick the white lion first. So guys, we're gonna head inside, grab the white lion and take him for his first swim. Well guys, we have our little white lion right here and she wants to be put down here on the floor. Let's go, let's go, here we go. And we're just gonna have some playtime right now outside. We're just gonna let her kind of explore. So she was just inside having a little nap, but you can see she's absolutely gorgeous. Now compared to the regular lions that you actually see, these are white and the reason why they're white is because they're loose cystic, so they have a lack of pigmentation in their skin and fur, which gives them this beautiful white color. Now, in the wild, this white color occurs naturally, but most of the little baby white lions, a lot of them don't make it because they get attacked by other predators because of their white color, and it stands out in the dark African desert. We're gonna take this sweet little guy right now, and we're gonna take him in the pool for the first time. Now, again, he has never been in the pool, so guys, I'm not sure if he's gonna like it because lions normally don't like water, but when they're young, if you get them used to the pool, you get them used to the water when they're young, they normally will like it. So let's come here right now. We're gonna come on in right now. How you doing, kid? Hi, buddy. So we're just gonna introduce you to the water for the very first time. I know you might not like it, but she is honestly reacting a lot better than I thought. She's putting her paws in and the natural instincts to move her paws while she swims is kicking in. Now I'm gonna give him all the support that he needs to feel comfortable, but right now he's quite relaxed and to him this feels really nice because it is blistering hot right now in Miami. So having this nice cool pool is a great way to relax for both me and the lion and it's incredible enrichment for him getting to experience new sights, sounds, smells, and even the water. You're doing so well, this is amazing. This little lion boy is absolutely loving the pool. Now we're just gonna kind of float out into some deeper water. We're gonna venture a little bit out. Now he is a little bit chilly right now. The sun went away and the water is a little bit cool, but he is just absolutely enjoying it. I just smelt a little lion fart. How you doing, buddy? I got you. Don't worry, you're not going anywhere, buddy. This little boy is getting the hang of it quite well. I'm quite impressed with how he's doing today. How you doing, buddy? You wanna come over here? Is this where you feel comfortable? He feels comfortable just hanging out on my arm, and this is a great introduction to the pool for the first time by just floating around with this little kid right here. He's feeling good. You wanna come up on my float? All right, buddy, come up on the float. Let's go, we're gonna float away, buddy. Let's go, man. Let's go for a swim. I'm absolutely loving this, and so is he. Look at this guy, absolutely incredible animal. Normally these cats, especially lions, don't really love the pool right off the bat, but he's doing really well. He's getting more and more comfortable with each minute here in the pool. So we're just gonna bring you this way, buddy. You wanna come up on the float? Come up, okay. Come on the float, and now we're gonna go float out, all right? Let's go. I know, ow, ow. 
Pow! <laughs> you are a good boy. You are a good little lion boy. Hi. <laughs> this little lion kid did so well for his first time in the pool. I was really impressed. And this little guy is ready for nap time. He's all tired out. You did so well, buddy. So now that we took this little white lion swimming, well, guys, we got to dry him off and take the black jaguar in the pool. One minute, 37 seconds later. Now we have our adorable little black jaguar girl right here. So she is a little bit feisty and she is ready for pool time. Now look at her claws. We trim her claws. We never declaw any cats just because it's terrible for them. But you can look at those claws. Jaguars are experts at using their claws and expert swimmers in the wild. Jaguars will hunt caiman, they'll hunt capybara, and all kinds of other fauna that live in the South American jungle. These guys are experts at what they do and introducing her for the first time to the water is incredible to me because she, in time, is going to absolutely love it even if she doesn't like it today. In time, she'll love it and it will be great enrichment for her for the rest of her life. So we're gonna bring her over here to the pool. Guys, I'm not sure if she's gonna like it yet. So guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you think she's going to like it as much as the lion did? Guys, comment down below what you think. Is she gonna like it? Is she not gonna like it? Well, there's only one way to find out and that is by putting her down in the pool, lowering her in. And as you can see, before before we put her in the water, her paws are already moving because she knows that there's water, that something's here. So we're just gonna lower her in the water right here. Now, each cat is gonna react different to the water. She looks like she is not liking it, really. She just wants to come and cling right here on my shoulders. How you doing, girl? You don't like the water? So we're just gonna slowly kind of just ease her into it. Again, each cat's gonna react differently to the water. Some will like it right off the bat. Some, it will take a couple swim sessions to get them acclimated. But I think in time, she's gonna love it because guys, what jaguar doesn't love the water? Guys, this is exactly what we wanted. She is absolutely loving the water. She's taking everything in slowly. She's kind of just seeing everything. She's watching and looking, examining everything that's going on because this is a different environment from her. She has not been in the water yet and she's still living indoors just because at such a young age of six weeks old, she could still contract different parasites and other things that at a young age can be deadly to big cats when they're young. So that's why we keep them inside for a while. But you can see she is just enjoying herself right now. She just wants to be cling to me because right now I'm her safety, I'm her float. When she comes to me, she knows she's gonna be able to grip on. She knows that I'm not gonna let go and she is just gonna kind of take everything in. And this is how you acclimate the cats to the water. You just kind of bring them in here every single day and you give the cats a routine. When you give the cats a routine, something that they know, they actually like it. So swimming lessons are part of the daily routines for this little kitty right here. And we're just gonna venture off into the deep end. You gotta come with me. You gotta hold on. You holding on? You're doing so good. Now we just put her on the float right now and she's just kind of hanging out. Now the float has little holes so we're just gonna support her from the bottom. But this is another great way to get her acclimated to the water is have her here on the float. Kind of just float her around for a while and in time she's gonna love the water. You're such a good kid. You are so good. So now we're gonna start letting her actually swim to me. So we're just gonna kind of let go and give her just a little bit of room between me. All right, you wanna come? You wanna come? Swim, 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 you made it. So we don't wanna let her just dive up into the deep end because again, this is her first time in the pool. So she's gotta develop her skills swimming in the water. and She's gotta get comfortable first before we let her really take some big leap swimming. But right now doing guided swims is the best thing for her to get her acclimated to the water by kind of just holding her tail lightly and just kind of directing her. She is starting to get the fluid motions of swimming, which is moving her paws back and forth. By holding her tail right here, she's starting to learn the momentum of swimming and it's going to come natural for her. So we're just kind of holding her and she's just kind of floating in place in the water. She is doing such a good job at this. Yeah, you are such a good girl. You love in the pool, aren't you? So much fun. All right, we've had our swim time. It's time to get out of the pool. Let's go, come on, you almost got it. One. You got it, you can make the big leap. You need a little push, oh, and you are up and away. Guys, we had an absolutely incredible swim time. We're just gonna put a towel around this little jaguar kid and we're gonna start drying her off. Guys, swimming today with the cats is a dream come true. Getting to spend my days surrounded by the most incredible animals on earth is an absolute blessing. And guys, thank you so much for all the support because without your guys' support, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below what you thought of today's swim video and guys we're just gonna continue drying her off she is such a cool kid so before we put her inside we got to make sure she is nice and dry and warm 
Big cats actually hold a lot of water in their coats. This towel is absolutely drenched. But if you get real closely, you can see that even though this is a black jaguar, she still has that rosette pattern that you'd see on a standard jaguar. And if you were to actually shave the cat on the skin, you'll still see the spots. So we're just gonna dry her off. Her tail is nice and wet. We're just gonna dry you. We're gonna scrub a dub dub and get you nice and dry. So guys, comment down below what you thought of this incredible kid. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see us teach more cats how to swim. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now. Hit the subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you all will be notified whenever I post.